So guess what time it is. It's one of the most exciting weekends for the whole entire season for most fans, as it's the first of two trips to Talladega Super Speedway. It is Dega week. Let's preview the race at Talladega. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If this is your first time into the channel, I would appreciate you subscribing. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, comment your thoughts on this video. Who do you think is going to win at Talladega on Sunday plus any improvements I can make on the channel? All right, let's get to Talladega Super Speedway. One of my favorite race tracks on the circuit. I was hoping to be at Talladega this year. I could still maybe attend the fall race, but honestly, the way the Daytona 500 was and the way this weekend probably is, is the deterring factor on why I'm probably not going to be going to Talladega this year. And let's get straight into that reasoning. In the Daytona 500, a lot of people were upset about saving gas. There was a lot of drivers saving fuel throughout the stages because the way the stages were lined up, you had to save a little bit of gas to make it to the end. And it just caused for some really weird racing, to say the least. I hate it here. Just to continue to use the Daytona 500 as the example, we saw a bunch of three wide racing at one point in the race. But at that time, a lot of drivers were going anywhere between 175 and 185. They got into a single file line and they were doing the same thing. It was very interesting, but not a good interesting sort of racing. A bad interesting sort of racing, if that makes any sense. I did not enjoy the dates on a 500 at all. I was extremely disappointed in it. And I'm expecting we're going to get the same here at Talladega because there is caution flags for the end of the stage. I really think if they took the caution flags away at the end of these stages, it would prevent the fuel saving from happening in these super speedway, aka restrictor plate races. It was a big killer in February. A lot of people were talking about how the racing was so weird in February at Daytona. But nonetheless, Talladega Super Speedway is a huge part of our sport, whether it's the lifestyle of being at that racetrack. One of the reasons why I would want to go. It's a very fun atmosphere, to say the least, at Talladega Super Speedway when NASCAR is in town. I started drinking at 6 a.m. and we're here now. I don't know what time it is, but I'm rolling deep. And those cars are going real fast and real left, son. They're going fast and left. Yeah. <laughs> So even with all that said, when it comes to the fuel saving, do expect probably a pretty gnarly finish at Talladega Super Speedway, plus a couple of incidents, including, most likely, the big one. One thing I'm going to guarantee right now on Sunday, I'm making, I'm making one pick right now, and this is not to win the race, but to cause an incident. Brad Keselowski will cause a wreck this weekend. I'm saying it right now. I'm telling you right now, Brad Keselowski will cause a wreck this weekend because he is a weapon on these tracks. How much signal I need to cut across eight lane? None? I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. And I say that pretty much any time we come to these sort of tracks that Brad Keselowski is a weapon. Brad Keselowski might be one of the fastest super speedway drivers, but on these sort of tracks, he tends to be overly aggressive with his pushes. So a couple of drivers to watch out for when it comes to those overly aggressive pushes would be, of course, Brad Keselowski. Joey Logano is another one that tends to make some overly aggressive pushes. And Bubba Wallace. Bubba Wallace tends to do this as well. So these three drivers especially, there's probably a couple others that I am forgetting, but these three tend to cause... A good amount of incidents on super speedways because of them being overly aggressive with their bump drafting, with their pushes. Let me go over a couple of drivers who I expect to probably have some issues at Talladega. There's a couple of drivers that tend to not be the strongest super speedway drivers and or they just have no luck on these sort of tracks. Because these tracks, it's half skill, half luck. That's just, it is what it is. 
And two drivers that immediately come to mind that struggle at these sort of racetracks more often than not is Kyle Larson and Martin Truex Jr. These two, especially Kyle Larson, always tend to find the wreck at these sort of racetracks. So these are two drivers I wouldn't put your money on because I see most likely these two not finishing the event. I feel like I would usually tend to go more in depth with some of these previews, but with Talladega Super Speedway, Talladega is Talladega. It's not quite a crapshoot. There's definitely some skill involved, but there is a lot of luck involved as well. But definitely expect to see some sort of strategies in play with the way the stages are lined up. I expect a lot of plays for track position when it comes to green flag pit stops. Plus, you expect a lot of the manufacturers to most likely stick together. You expect the Chevys to pit with the Chevys. That's just how it's usually going to be at these super speedways. Pretty self-explanatory. But all, all this aside, there tends to always be a couple of drivers that are faster and more likely to win the race than a lot of other drivers. And three of them I already mentioned, those three overly aggressive pushers tend to usually be three of the best drivers at these sort of tracks as well. That being, once again, Brad Kozlowski, Joey Logano, and Bubba Wallace. If these three do not get involved in an incident, best believe those last couple of laps they are going to be fighting for the win. A couple other drivers to go over, of course, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Ricky Stenhouse tends to be a really talented super speedway racer, and that is because of his aggression level. I've noticed a lot of the drivers that tend to be a little bit more aggressive tend to be better at super speedways. You almost have to have that short track mindset going into Talladega or Daytona, which is weird. You got to have the smallest track mindset going into the biggest track to have that success. Which brings me to my next driver, Ross Chastain. Ross Chastain has proven to be pretty good on these super speedways as he won at Talladega two seasons ago. And I think the two drivers that most people are circling this weekend are number 11 and number 12, being Denny Hamlin and Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney, of course, won here at Talladega Super Speedway in the fall last year. And a lot of people, including myself, looked at his win in the fall last year as his starting point where he started to get red, red hot, leading to his championship. And Denny Hamlin, that's pretty self-explanatory. He's not won one, not won two, but three-time Daytona 500 champion. So those are definitely two drivers to keep your eye on as well. In this race, it really kind of opens up the door for a lot of different drivers. So if you're a betting person like myself, I would recommend you maybe place a couple of top 10 bets on some of those higher odds. Even maybe some top 5 or top 3 bets. Maybe even some winning bets if you want to get a little gutsy. One driver I'm watching at in particular out of that group is Todd Gilliland. Todd Gilliland led a bunch of laps at Atlanta earlier in the year. He was really strong in Daytona as well. If you're going to put money on an underdog, put it on Todd. Todd Gilliland. He's the guy I'm going to be watching throughout the weekend. I already have some money on him, so hopefully he can do well on Sunday. But my pick, got to be number eight, my boy Rowdy, Kyle Busch. Bush. My favorite driver, Kyle Busch. I'm going to pick him to win the race at Talladega Super Speedway and make it back-to-back. -back. Of course, Rowdy won at Talladega in the spring last year being his second career win with Richard Childress Racing last season. Now this weekend, he's looking for that fourth career win with Richard Childress Racing, and I'm hoping to see him get it. Hopefully he can make it back-to-back, -back, and I can make it back-to-back -back as well, as those first two weeks of picks, I was really bad picking Gibbs and Truex, and both of those picks were way off. But last week, I took a big chance picking Chase Elliott, and it got me the win. So let's see if we can make it back-to-back -back with my boy Rowdy. So final thoughts... When it comes to Talladega Super Speedway and the race we should expect this weekend, I would expect a lot of the same that happened in the Daytona 500. I do expect a good finish, good amount of wrecks. I do expect that, but I also expect that most of that race is going to be a lot of fuel saving and a lot of drivers driving around at around 60-70% throttle, which I hate to see at Super Speedways, but it is what it is. NASCAR needs to figure out something to do with these Super Speedways because the next-gen car tends to not handle and do as well at these tracks compared to the mile-and-a-halves. 
the mile and a half seemed to be the bread and butter for this version of car, but super speedways, short tracks, and road courses seem to struggle with this car at the moment. Honestly, a huge help for NASCAR this weekend and any super speedway weekend at this point forward. I just think it would make the most sense for NASCAR to take away the caution flags at the end of the stages. It would really improve the racing. It wouldn't have these drivers saving so much fuel throughout the run but it is what it is i do not see nascar taking away these caution flags for this weekend and most likely they won't take them away for daytona atlanta or talladega later in the year as well so i hope we get a great race a great finish and that finish does not get interrupted by a late caution flag as well because that was pretty awful in the daytona 500 i remember going off about that a little bit in my post-race video for the 500 because it's Talladega. Talladega Super Speedway is a huge part of NASCAR. It's what a lot of people think about when they think about NASCAR. The first thing that most people think about when it comes to NASCAR is the Daytona 500. But usually a very close second is Talladega Super Speedway. So hopefully NASCAR and NASCAR on Fox, because NASCAR on Fox has been struggling a little bit lately. I have to make a video on them. Don't let it happen again. Yes, well, uh... I'll try to be less careless. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. Hopefully they can have a great race and a great show on Sunday, not just for the fans at home, but for the fans at the track. But I hope all of you enjoy the race on Sunday. Let me know in the comments, who do you think is going to win at Talladega on Sunday? Do you think it's going to be Kyle Busch, like myself? Do you think it could be maybe a Denny Hamlin, a Ryan Blaney? Or are you feeling a huge underdog, like a Todd Gilliland? Let me know. But that'll do it for this video. Everyone enjoy the race on Sunday at Talladega Super Speedway. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace.